The last couple of days have been very rough in the crypto world. Pretty much every cryptocurrency price is on a downward trajectory and especially Ripple's XRP. Have we hit rock bottom? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out exactly that. Hello guys, this is Farhan Hussein and welcome to another video. Let's just directly jump in and see what exactly is happening in the crypto world, in our cases in the Ripple world. As you might already have seen and as you might have heard from a lot of different places, pretty much every single cryptocurrency has taken uh, quite a hit. Pretty much all of them are on a downward trajectory and starting with the biggest one and that is Bitcoin. Bitcoin was hovering around $9,500 to $10,500 but even in fact Bitcoin has taken a massive hit. So what is the reason for all of this? What are the reasons for the prices of XRP, Ethereum and Bitcoin and even more for going downwards? Before that let's just take a quick peek at what are the current prices of each of these cryptocurrencies. Currently, the price of XRP at the, at the time of making this video is around $0.24, but it was even as low as $0.23, which makes it uh, at on par with the lowest level of uh, the price of XRP we have seen since the all-time high of 2017. So as you can imagine, this is a massive, massive thing in which a lot of people were expecting that the price of XRP is going to increase. But in the past couple of years, the price has not only increased, but it's stagnant and it's kind of showing a downward trajectory. To understand why the price of XRP and pretty much every other cryptocurrency has taken a hit, and we need to pinpoint out at exactly what has happened and pretty much uh, there are very clear indications on the reason why the entire crypto world has lost billions and billions of dollars. Before pinpointing the exact reason on why their prices have gone down, we need to remember, we need to know one very important thing and that is pretty much every single cryptocurrency out there, whether it's Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP or even other uh, altcoins, they all are tied to Bitcoin. So for example, if the price of Bitcoin goes down, pretty much every single cryptocurrency is going to go down and that is pretty much understood in the crypto world. That's why whenever you see that the price of Bitcoin goes up, pretty much every single crypto uh, cryptocurrency goes up and if the price of Bitcoin goes down, there's a downward trajectory. And the exact reason on why the price of XRP has taken a huge plunge and why the price of pretty much every cryptocurrency uh, is on a downward trajectory and the answer is BACT. For those of you who don't know, BACT uh, is a future exchange and digital assets platform. Basically what this is, is it's a place where people, traders can actually physically trade a Bitcoin. And and you might think, okay, this is pretty much similar to other exchanges, but the major difference here is that the parent company of Buck is the New York Stock Exchange. So you can you can imagine that there were a lot of people who were expecting the institutional money to flow into Bitcoin. And because of this, at the start of this year, the prices uh, of Bitcoin started rising because a lot of people were expecting uh, Buck to be a game changer in the crypto world. But unfortunately, that was not the case. Once Buck was launched this Monday, uh, by the end of the Monday, there were only 72 Bitcoins which were traded compared to the 500,000 Bitcoins which were traded on the first day of the CME futures back in 2017. So a lot of people were very disappointed, pretty much obviously. But not only that, this created somewhat of a fear in the crypto world saying that the Bitcoin is still not mainstream. There is no institutional money that is going to be flowed into this. And because of this, people started selling their Bitcoins which caused a chain reaction, causing uh, a lot of people to sell their Ethereum, selling XRP. And overall, this was a, a pretty much a very bad day for the crypto world. These two quotes from the crypto world perfectly sum it up on what exactly has happened. The disappointing backed opening signals to the com uh, crypto community that institutions are less ready to invest in Bitcoin at scale than was supposed, which means the price was probably too high and due for correction. And the second one is, it should be noted that the launch of these futures was one of the main narratives that spurred on the massive bull run at the start of the year. So what we have got here is a classic case of buying the rumor and selling the news. Uh, so basically what these two people are saying is that uh, there was a very good bull run uh, of 2019. I don't accept the price of XRP but pretty much all the other top 10 cryptos uh, were on uh, high and this bought created somewhat of a, a negative thing, it created an ignite which caused the price of pretty much everything to slump and as they mentioned it that we were due for a correction and 
I think this is the point in which we are in the correction period. Uh, so you can expect that the prices, uh, the prices of various cryptocurrencies, including XRP, to fall even further. So again, but this is something that was expected uh, due to uh, the opening uh, of the bot. But I should mention here that not everything is as gloomy as a lot of analysts in the crypto world are expecting. Uh, that the the futures that will be traded on bot to uh, improve they are expecting okay on the first day we had a really uh, lower than expected uh, count but it is going to be uh, increased in the future and once if it does increase in the future the prices of various cryptocurrencies is going to rise up again and now on to the main question has the price of xrp hit a rock bottom well it really depends on who you ask many people are saying you know what uh, as expected bot did not perform as good on the first day but it is going to improve and because of this the price of xrp is going to increase again in the future but if you are some other analysts they are saying that look we have not hit rock bottom and the price of xrp is expected to drop even further in fact if it does drop even further it will be the lowest price since the the all-time high of 2017 but if you want to look at the positive side of this you can think it of as a buying opportunity if you truly believe in xrp saying this might be one of the lowest points in which uh, i can buy xrp and in the future if it goes up it will be very profitable for me so it really depends on how you with this situation well guys that was the video uh, from me today let me know what you think about that in the comment section below i read pretty much all the comments uh, let me know if you think that the price of xrp is going to go even further down or the price of xrp is going to increase and as always if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure that you are subscribed to get your regular updates from the crypto world and as always i will see you next time